Talk about a stress-free job. I tell you what, it's a lot of stress release. Manuel Fernandez destroys airliners for a living. At least one a week. You don't get no better than this. This Airbus A300 used to belong to American Airlines. It cost about $80 million back in 1989. Now though worth about 50000 in scrap aluminum and could even become your next can of soda. And they will be, or, or something else, or six six pack of a Chinese beer. This is not a boneyard. Think of the airport here in Roswell, New Mexico, as a used car lot, but for airliners. Well, like, what would an MD-80 go for today? If I were to want one of these MD-80s ready to go, I'll sell you this one right here, this afternoon, for 50 grand without motors. American Airlines stores all of its spare planes here with Stewart Industries. Across the airfield are logos from around the world. Southwest, Air Canada, even Japan Airlines. Many planes are sold to startup airlines. Others, though, get stripped down. Seats, avionics, nose cones, even black boxes, all sold as spare parts. There are 1,200 direct jobs being created out there now where 10 years ago did not have that impact at all. Perhaps the most famous plane ever here was the Enola Gay, the B-29 that dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan. This used to be Walker Air Force Base, but has sat mostly unused since the Air Force abandoned it in the late 1960s. Airlines started parking planes here after 9-11, but this business really took off three or four years ago. This place is a lot more accessible, significantly cheaper than Arizona and California, and Roswell has lots of space. Right now, 200 jetliners are parked here, and this place can hold five times that, up to 1,000 of them. The recent surge in planes has led to a shortage of mechanics. Right now, I'm telling you, it, it, there's such a high demand. I've had a local company just say, how many are you graduating? I'll take them all. Doing 100-hour inspection on the airframe. The aviation maintenance program at Eastern New Mexico University in Roswell was on its deathbed a few years ago. But when the jets came, so did the students. But what the guys call their, their, their certificate, their license, they call it a license to steal. Because the bottom line is there is such a huge demand for these mechanics. It's, it is huge. And Stewart Industries, which stores all of Americans' aircraft, expects business to get even better. And with Boeing and, and Airbus uh, ramping up and, and the operators deciding to go to the new, more fuel efficient uh, aircraft, people are saying, you know, I've just got to get rid of them. American and Southwest brag about the hundreds of new jets they're getting. Those older ones are getting retired, many to Roswell. What isn't resold will likely meet Manuel. It takes two men less than two hours to cut up a large airline. Part of an emerging industry here that reinforces Roswell's reputation for things that come out of the sky. In Roswell, Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News.